Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. What's up YouTube? I'm over at my friend Brent's house. Help him work on this 1990 Nitro bass boat. Um, trying to do some more work to it. Brent's gonna slowly restore it. It's in decent shape, but he had it before and did some stupid stuff to it. Um, for example, it looks like from what we're seeing, <laughs> which is idiotic, but it looks like it took, I'm guessing it, it looks like it took Thompson's water seal and brush it over the boat over the paint thinking it was clear coat trying to make it look shiny and all they did was ruin it it made it look hideous but Brent did some research and was able to find a light version of the um, aircraft paint remover he got a, like a, a lighter version where you can take that off without ruining the paint so I'm right up there now we're gonna buff the paint we, he got him and I got most of it off might do a few little touches to it yet um, and then we also found out once you put that on and scrape it off real carefully, if you don't get it off and let it harden, it's twice as hard to get off. So, put a lot of work in it already and just got it. Um, you did get a good deal on it, so that's one good thing. Um, but we're gonna go up there, I'm gonna go up there now, and we're gonna buff it, try and make that paint shine real good. Um, Brent did yesterday, took the hood cover off, um, scraped all the old paint off, and that stupid Thompson water seal. I re-sprayed it and you ordered new stickers. I'm not sure you put new stickers on yet, so when I get there, I'll videotape the hoods. Um, I got two pictures that the Brent sent me, but I won't get it on video too. So, stay tuned. Brent's gonna restore this 1990 Nitro bass boat. I believe it's a 19 footer. Um, we're gonna spend all winter working on it. I'm gonna replace the carpet on it. I'm gonna help him out and uh, take it out next spring and uh, do a lot of fishing and boating from it. So. Stay tuned, I'll show you some more video coming up. All right, Brent bought another boat. He's in the process of restoring this one. It is a 1990 Bass Tracker Nitro. It has an Evan Rude 150 on the back, V6, 150 horsepower. Um, we just did some work to it. Brent did this, put brand new chains, put a new hitch on the front. Uh, brand new jack here. Um, gonna, gonna restore this boat slowly but surely. And then we're peeling off the old clear coat. Somebody spray bond it with spray bond clear coat. So we're gonna scrape it off, wet sand it, and polish it, and buff it to make it shine again. If you go back here, you can see we Brent did some of it. Right there, it's nice and shiny. So that we already took the clear coat off, the spray bomb clear coat, wet sand it and polished it. And then we're gonna take that off, and we're gonna to totally redo that. Because that's all spray bomb with spray, a cheap spray paint clear coat. I don't know why somebody would do something stupid like that, but we're gonna we're gonna fix this up real nice. So you can see here, I was using a, a real light paint stripper just to strip off the clear coat, and then we're gonna go over it again with a wet sandpaper, and then we're gonna buff it, and make it shine real good again. Here's a 67 pound thrust trolling motor, 12 volt, 24 volt. Currently charging the batteries for that to work. You can see the last guy used a house plug. I don't know why you would do something like that, but we're gonna replace that too. It's getting there. Stay tuned. Can't wait to take this thing out in the water once we're done doing some work to it. It's gonna turn out all nice. Stay tuned for more. All right, hopefully that's what the pan's gonna look like when we're buff, done buffing it. Brent just made it wet, it's cleaning it, but we still gotta finish scraping them, then we gotta buff it. But get an idea how it's gonna sparkle and shine.
Boy, that's getting real nice and shiny. Look at that sparkle, man. Look at that, those real bright crystals like starting to really sparkle. Uh -huh. like it's really highlighting it. <laughs> Cheers, mate. If you take notice, Brent took a lot of this boat apart already. I'm gonna go around the boat. Now here's the part. Here's the top part hasn't been buffed yet. Here's the bottom part. Brent's gonna put the decal on there to see how it looks. But you can see the difference between where it's buffed and where it wasn't. I'm gonna go around the boat. Brent's been. Uh, I've been buffing the outside. <laughs> Light was in my way. Anyways, 
Brent's taking his boat apart. He's gonna take that carpet out and replace it with gray carpet. And we're gonna, he's gonna finish scraping the inside and we're gonna buff it. You take notice, he got it in his garage. It's really cool, it's his front, uh, what do you call that piece, Brent? Oh, the trailer tongue, yeah. Yeah, trailer tongue, that's the kind of name of it. Brent took the front trailer tongue also to fit in his garage. It's a pretty cool feature. So let me go down this side. You see, I, this side was great, but still gotta be buffed. So we're gonna hit this side next. But you can see, man, Brent's been taking all the accessories off. And we're gonna, Brent's gonna take the ugly red carpet out, replace it with gray carpet. He's gonna try and fix these seats. If he can't fix them, he's gonna replace them, but he's gonna try and fix them first. It's a shame because they're really nice seats. Hope he can fix them. And then uh, place that ugly carpet. He's, you can see there he took all the pinstriping off. Somebody put red pinstriping on it. It wasn't original. It didn't belong on there, so Brent just took it all off while I was buffing the side. But it's a work in progress. It's getting there. All right, so check out this cool feature Brent has on this boat that mine don't have. So he's got this hood right here, right? What you don't know is there's a hidden compartment inside that hood. He's a glove box. Now, if I open this, check this out. He's got a glove box in here. Is that cool or what? <laughs> he stashed all his secret fishing lures in there. <laughs> That's how he's going to outfish everybody. He's going to put top secret fishing lures there nobody knows about. When they're not looking, he's going to tie them on and catch all the fish. Top secret musky lures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's such a cool feature, though. Wish my boat had that. That's cool. Section was done. I gotta do the lower section. I gotta go back over and hit those spots. Though. Right here, see right here, Brent. Look at the gouges. Getting there. See what happened there? It looks like maybe the stripper didn't see it. Yeah, it sucks. I'll clean. I'll brush clear in there. Then I said wet sand and touch it up. I'll put it on your board here though. Oh yeah. 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 That's what I'll be embarrassed if you take out in Blue Marsh now. I know. <laughs> like, what the heck did you do to your boat? <laughs> Wasn't me, dude. That's why I like this. It's fixing somebody else's mistake. It looks much better though. Heck yeah. So once it's all finalized and put up in the sunlight, that's gonna look real nice. Put your carpet on there. That gray carpet would be way better. Oh my god. Yeah, that That's Brent putting a new decal on. I wanna see how it looks. We're uh 
We're both ambitious and impatient. Yeah, we're getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. We're getting a little way ahead of ourselves. But we can't wait till this boat's done. Even though we got all winter work on it. That's cool. Gives an idea what it's gonna look like. Well, that's looking good. You didn't get any air pockets in it. Look at that. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to be done now, man. There's so much work to do. We're getting way ahead of ourselves. There's so much work to be done. <laughs> we want it to look really nice now. We don't really need that yet. <laughs> uh, that's cool looking, though. See, that's how the boat should look. Well, that's all I had to do. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's so much easier and cheaper. Yeah. And all I had to do was just take that junk in. Yeah, and all the labor taking it back off now. Yeah, Paul, she up with some new fresh decals and all that. That's all needed. Yeah, the whole decal is the whole thing looks way nicer. Yeah. That's so awesome. That's how we're done with it. It should be like a brand new boat. You won't be able to tell it's 30 years old. That's good. Oh, I need it. That's your right. It should look pretty close to new again. That's off your tongue comes off. That would never fit in here. Oh, yeah. That would never fit. <laughs> that, that's already, even though that's a tight squeeze. Yeah. Not the Mustang wasn't in here. I could have kicked it. Side at an angle. That's true. That's true, too. That's what you do with the Ranger. I used to put it in here. I used to put it at an angle. All right, makes a little bit more shine here. Brent wet sanded and buffed this top area right here. It's gonna get a decent angle up, but the fluorescent lights are hitting it. You can see how nice and shiny it is. Here's what it used to look like. And this is what it looks like after wet sanding and buffing it. Much better. Brent's got to fix those holes or do something with them, but we'll figure that out down the road. Brent just buffed and polished. Actually, you what you painted, you sanded it, and you buffed it, and then you polished it. All right. Yep. It's starting to shine like glass. Just gotta put the stickers on next.
Separated out from the drawers. Mazda makes exciting a thing of jewels at Route 422 beside the Lebanon Valley Mall. It's always a stubborn one in the crowd, you know that? I know. <laughs> I don't know if it lives, I'll just throw them here for now. I don't want to have to like it. I don't want to have to like it. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if it likes it or not. We have to do it. We were late, they ain't going to kill us without it. Exactly. That is, man. Look at that. That's disgusting. It is disgusting. What the heck? They must have never cleaned this carpet. I don't think they did. Actually, if you want to pass it over here, John, I'll just lay it over here. I'll... Well, oh, hold on. Ooh, I'm going to use your cup holder. <laughs> there it is. I just broke in your cup holder. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I got that thing off. Ooh, it's red. Look. Just a little rusty. Yeah, just a little. Equipped to a higher standard. Working together as a team. Take this. Take on today. Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now playing. Now you tell me. Now you tell me. <laughs> you want to sit that down there somewhere, or yeah. we're to do it in here? Um, I don't want to get this part off. Yeah. 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 Let me cold Miller White out of there real quick. Sure. Or whatever. What do you got in there? Yeah, Miller Highway. Let me try that. Maybe that'll help cool it off. There's the anyways. Yeah, I don't, I don't have working stuff. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got something cold on real quick. <laughs> Burn. I do have to be out freaking hot. Woo! It felt real way through there. <laughs> Actually, the cold made it worse. Psychotherapy. <laughs> it's amazing how that attracts that much dirt. Yep. 
Oh, you got that too, Carl. Ouch. Ouch, dude. You almost broke your line well. That's a big suck on your line well. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> it won't fit, man. <laughs> Look at the head on it. <laughs> uh, I call it for another fear break. <laughs> Where's the apple? Oh. Holy moly. I'm like, people keep saying, aren't you done with it yet? I'm like, I'm <laughs> At some point, more while you're fishing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look back and go. <laughs> That's a lot of this thing off, and I got to stand straight and put it in the horn. Yeah, I know. That's a lot of work. If I put this here, it won't be in your way, will it?
Force and find your way to WhitakerCenter.org to buy tickets. The all-new Land Hamper Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has the new Jeep for you without playing games. Get the Land Hamper Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram now for the 2017 Big Finish event and leave the 2018 Jeep Cherokee or 2018 Jeep Compass for two months. Rock. 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 strap on it before it gets too crazy. Oh, that's right. You know, you're doing that all the time, not. Yeah. Much better. Now. I'll do something quick. Back to put on video quick. Kind of low profile, nobody's got to trip over it. Yeah, looks like about four week in there now, either. Yep. yep. In case you get caught in the rain or something. Let's see, put the hinge on this one, put this lid on yet, then this is done up here. Way better. Well, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. Watching quick, and that one's done. I don't know if it's too hard with that. I thought I would have been doing it by myself. I see what you're saying. What's going to go? Yeah, what's going the right way? Win $1,000 16 times every weekday. Starting Tuesday morning at 6 on the River 97.3. Get close. 
Yes, sir. Starting to try to go. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, big difference. Nice. Yep. Nice and secure. Nobody can steal my stuff, this is. <laughs> <laughs> also, adjust this one right away on here. done. Oh, that work. That is. <laughs> Cut your taser off. I should be happy with the boat when it's done. Then. Well, there it is. Brent finished installing our rear carpet in the boat. And the centerpiece, it's all done. The carpet nightmare has ended. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm about carpeted out. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, the seats are installed too, I forgot to get those. Here you go. These are brand new seats Brent installed. All right, quick update on Brent's boat. It is February 4th, 2018, and the carpet is fully installed. All the hinges and locks, the pull tabs are fully installed. Brent put all that, put brand new seats in it. Go on the boat. Let's get this thing to focus better. Right, one out of focus, there we go. Better shot of the carpet. Even the center pieces in. All brand new. Again, brand new seats. And the back part of the boat, all brand new carpet. Alright, I forgot to mention Brent installed these brand new LED what do you call it? LED, LED, LED lights. Yeah, no, Can't even speak English today. <laughs> Alright, so here's the green side. We go around here's the red side. That's pretty cool. Those things are neat. So Brent just installed those. Go back around the other side again. It's gonna look really good at nighttime. So here's the after video after I got done polish and scrubbing it with steel wool. Well first I scrubbed it with steel wool, wiped it off, and then I put a number seven polish on there, let it dry and wiped it off. So still not where I want it, but it's way better than what it was. It's getting there. Just have to hit it with a Dremel next. Get those fine tooth areas, hit it with a toothbrush or a Dremel and make it shine and polish even more. But there's the after video. It's getting there. Okay, here's Brent's new Lexan windshield that he fabricated himself and installed. It was actually cheaper to make to buy a brand new one, so Brent went out and bought Lexan. This is called Smoke Color Lexan. Made his own tools for it, fabricated it, installed it himself. How about that? Pretty cool, let's change the angle here. I'll oh, block the wind when he's doing 70 miles per hour down the lake. <laughs> 
And also here's the new the dashi painted. Got new switches, new lights. We did the whole dash. And uh, there's the hot foot. I don't know if you can see that. And there's a the fire extinguisher. And uh, here's the uh, Tim trim tilt switch is on the steering wheel so you can let the motor up and down real quick right, the, right at your fingertips man that's a sweet feature Ready to go, yep, I'm ready.
Yeah, that's right. I didn't even think of that. All right, hold up a second. Okay, go for it. You're good, go ahead, go forward. Woohoo! She's officially launched, man! Ooh, that boat's heavy! Whoa! <laughs> Get the button away, all right? Oh, I could be a same boss. You could be this enough. My 
mother you used around when I did invite you home for dinner. Oh, my darling, how I miss you till the day. I'd give my everything to see your face again. Oh, I'm so sorry I've been distant in the past. I've written tons of letters and they'd ended in the trash. Oh, my darling, how I miss you till the day.